Another project where homesteading never ends. So what Keith has graciously gone and done is he had some, he says free wood, it better be free, that um, he had, they were, how wide were they? Is this the original width? And then you cut it in half? Okay. So he cut them in half and then cut them three feet high. So the intentions of this is to build a fence around my freshly, what? That's what I thought you said. Oh yeah? Freshly cleaned brick pad from Sheep poo. Those little buggers are out back now. Now we're going to go and cut these five inch, these boards that are five inches into two and a half so I can have smaller planks on the vertical side. Um, Don't cut your finger off. There's, do you want a vise? I got a vise. Oh, you got a vice too. Okay. All right. So we're going to get this set up and uh, we'll be right back. sawdust you wanted me to get all the sawdust let me see your face because it's all in your face <laughs> I think you were just being gentle gentlemanly and not letting me get all that grossness on me. Some of you know I can't stand touching wood. <sighs> like if somebody has a toothpick in their mouth, oh my god. And then if somebody's got a toothpick sticking in my food, holding my food together, <gasps> I mean look at me, my eyes are watering already. Ugh, it's disgusting. Alright, so while he cleans himself off, I'm gonna go clean his glasses. Be right back. Hi Jack! <laughs> How's my handsome boy? <clears throat> you want your head scratched? <laughs> No, don't eat my earring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I gotta go back to work. All right, so this is all we can do today. Because of the rain it's it's not really raining but it's misting and uh my, my what are you doing what am i doing mm, i'm getting out of the picture <laughs> uh the boards are wet so i can't paint but we've got them laid out to dry and uh, i swept them down from all the sawdust so we need to let them dry <clears throat> these are all wet they're damp 
and luckily my dogs have trampled all over this so now I got footprints um, yeah and then we're expecting snow today it's like what what is it 48 out and we're expecting snow um, oh. anyways all right I'm gonna go sell some turkey eggs I will resume this tomorrow if the boards are dry I might be painting on my lunch break Never fails when I go to start a video, somebody's got a cock a doodle do. So now I'm painting all these pieces of uh, little pickets on the picket fence that we're making out in my brick pad there. So I'm going to paint all of these two and a half inch boards white. At least one side so far. See how much I can get done in 40 minutes. All of these are done and all of that is done so now we're cutting the beveled edges on the boards let me see the edge <clears throat> show me the edge so that will be the white picket fence going up and down and now while he's cutting the boards I'm painting the side rails red okay all my horizontal panels are painted red now all the white vertical panels are cut on the angles so I've got to paint all these sides but for right now these have got to dry and Right now I'm gonna go clean out a turkey coop. Fun. Finally, a decent day uh, with no rain. Lots of sun. A little bit of a breeze, so it's a little chilly for me. And uh, now I have time to do the next step. Uh, not misery, freezing. Next step is to paint the vertical poles that these will be stapled to and I'm going to paint these white so all the vertical poles are white all the horizontal poles are red just as all my decor out there red and white it's starting to look like a fence now Using the air staple gun and it's slamming staples into the wood. And we're gonna do this all the way across. The first side is complete. All I have to do on this side is obviously do some touch-up paint because the white paint wasn't really dried and then paint the top beveled edge but with this side being complete i still have to paint the sides of these planks um so we're just going to bring this one out back now keith has gone and drilled a hole excuse me buckshot 
drilled a hole in the middle here and put a piece of rebar in each one. Now, we're gonna take this out there into the yard, excuse me, and hammer it down into the ground. Let's see how this works out. How long we've been working on this thing? It's, it's going on like a month. And it's hard to work in between because I have a full-time job and Keith doesn't live like right around the corner. He lives like way over yonder. And uh, <clears throat> by the time I get off work, it's chicken tour time and getting near to dark. So today we are going to put up that row. That one out there is uh, I, I'm going to say twice as long, and if we were to carry out the way we did last time, it would just buckle and bust. Okay, we got the red bars up. Now we are painstakingly measuring in between each pole the width of another pole. We have finished side number two. Looks pretty good. There's a little flaws, but <laughs> I really don't give a shit. I really don't. It's the functionality that I want. Right here's where you can see this pole here is not in line. And then, oh, then we got a little short, short stick here. Right there. Boop. And the pad is actually on a slight hill, so it is in line, but the hill makes it look off. Hi, Julian. Hi, Jack. Hi, Romeo. Hi, boys. Hi, Jack. <laughs> the three stooges. Come on, Jack, you're in the tail. All right, it's chicken chore time. We'll hit this again tomorrow. All right, day umpteen. Um, we are now putting up this side and hammering in this pole. Wait, 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 go. I think it's it's that top thing. <coughs> that top edge right here. Right there. <coughs> I got that, I got that. Yep. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> what are you doing? Ow! All right. 
Today is the first day the peacocks have ever been out of their cage. They got a bunch of neck feathers. The white one is Eva, unless it turns into a boy. And the brown one is Oliver if it was a boy, and Olivia if it's a girl. And I got Hans wanting to mate with me. Hi Hans. Hi baby girl. I have to simulate male contact. Okay, shake it off. Shake it off. Back to the peacocks. We got wall number three up and wall number four up. And now we're working on making a gate. Here's how it looks. Still need to clean up and everything, but we're at the tail end. Ah, my happy place. Thank you for joining me on this video where Keith and I put fencing around my brick pad to keep the sheep poo off. Ugh, disgusting. But now I can enjoy either laying out, having lunch, brunch, dinner, and barbecue on my brick pad without having to worry about stepping on sheep poo. All right, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great afternoon, day, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. Thank you.